Hey guys! So, after the great response to the Dunes brush, let's today share something new. Let's call it the Doom Jacker. So, basically, you have a display, buttons, and a compartment to put stuff. You can just turn it on like normal and start to play. Like so. You can move around, forward, backward, and you can shoot. And every time you shoot, you will get haptic feedback in the form of a little bus. Of course, we need audio. The included headsets give out some nice tone. And then let's, yeah, fire some rounds. Let's first pick up the armor, as this is needed, of course. We need protection. And let's go into the first room. As a special, like, treatment, every time you kill an opponent, you will get a little bit of pleasure from killing them. Like so. Let's just walk through this map and yeah, just finish at least one. At least one map. Like so. Yeah, we made it. Okay. So, of course, the thing is unused, and I hope they do not test these like they test their e cigarettes in the factory. And let's just see what YouTube does with this type of content. If you want to know how this was made, stay tuned. Original, this screen is used to show like some images and the status of the vibration and such. And to turn it off, you just press all buttons and can put it away after maybe cleaning it. And here you can see the normal function of this device in an open up state to be more yeah, friendly. So you basically have a few modes of vibration and movement. And you can see the display is controlled by the SOC and you can also yeah just like enable some images which is the main feature of this LCD. And of course audio is there also it's like some screaming let's call it. Hey guys. So while this machine does work this way with this little ransomware gadget in a completely stuck installation way. So you really just have the custom firmware on the chip and nothing else has changed. We do want to run a little bit more on it as you would have guessed. And unfortunately this chip only has 64 kilobytes of flash and 16 kilobytes of RAM and the external flash is 1 megabyte or I think even 2 megabyte but that's just not enough to run anything high end. So what we will do is we will reuse this chip to be an I.O. controller for like the buttons, the LEDs and the motor and connect in between the display and the then free wires of the display to something bigger, like this one. Okay, after a bit of cleaning inside here, we have enough room to fully hide our ESP board. And also the reversing is done so far, so we have like the display reversed and also like every pin out of this SDM clone. So we can now put traces in between and continue. 
So here are some very first results. You can see the ESP is now providing the display data and it plays the demo in wrong resolution and color. And this PCB is now meant to yeah, do the buttons and such. So while this is all still a mess, we have the resolution to the most fitting one. This is like exactly half the half the pixels more than the image itself, but we just uh, use it that way and make a nice border around it. Another step is that we also have audio for it now. So if we hold it here on the microphone, it should be hearable. We now have a UART connection to the PC and test the custom firmware on the stock PCB. If we press a button, it will be sent out via UART. And the other way around, if we send out data to the PCB, we can switch stuff on and off to connect it to the ESP and have that way an interface connection with all the necessary yeah, GPIOs, controllable in both directions. Well, that worked better than expected. The whole contraption is now finished. Let's just demonstrate it. We have the full screen up to scale. We can start the game and turn around with these two buttons and walk back and forth with the other two and shoot with the middle button. And every time you shoot, you will have the small vibration motor giving you a little shot. And let's just go to an enemy. So every time you kill someone, you also get a treat. So you have something to earn for the game. And yeah. Now let's pack everything together. And it's finished. And this is how everything fits together now. This ESP board will be placed somewhere here. There's enough room. And yeah, just to clarify, this is of course a big joke. So it's funny to see such a thing run Doom and run the ransomware image. But since this is like not connected to the internet, it's not real. Unfortunately, I want to just mention it. If this would have like Wi-Fi with the stock firmware, it would be so much more fun to tinker around. But it was just basically the only one I was able to find with a display. All the other ones that are connected via Bluetooth or such just have no input and output. So no Doom can be played. So this way it's also fine and still fun. See you next time.